Okay, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Your Pet Reptile. So, um, unfortunately, our live stream is bust, and so we can't stream live from YouTube. We're going to stream live from Instagram, and uh, that's what's up. So we're going to read this book. So we said we was going to do it. We're going to do it. So our book is called Your Pet Reptile. And um, listen, I need a team, y'all. Seriously, I try to do all this myself, but like, it doesn't work. You need a team of people. So eventually when that time comes, that time will come when it comes. But right now, we got to make sure that we read this book. So I'm going to post this in just a little while, and you all can see it. And... Um, but whatever, they just said it's interesting. Earlier today, I was able to stream our, um, I was able to stream live. I tested it out yesterday. Everything was great. I was excited. And then today, it just didn't work out. So that's okay. So anyway, I want to share with you, um, this is the book, Your Pet Reptile. This is actually my first book about reptile care. We actually, I've been a veterinary technician for 20 years. I was working at the Animal um, Medical Hospital in, um, over in uh, on um, in Plainview, it was the Long Island Veterinary Specialist, and when I was working there, it was really great, um, and you know we learned a lot. However, every single animal hospital I worked in, every single one, there there's always been a lack of of care. Not not lack of care. There's been a lack of information and 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 knowledge about the care of reptiles. So when a reptile would come into the office. Oftentimes, you know, our vets, a lot of the vets did not have the, um, the knowledge about the reptiles, about, you know, how to, you know, just simple stuff like, you know, them being cold blooded, um, you know, what, what their bodies were like, you know, what the colors were, what the colors meant. Because, for example, this is a funny story. One day, one of the doctors said that uh, she thought the tortoise had jaundice. Jaundice is when you have a liver problem and it, your liver doesn't process properly, so your eyes turn yellow, and you have yellow around your eyes, and your skin sort of turns yellow too. So she thought that the tortoise had jaundice. I'm like, um, no, <laughs> the tortoise is just yellow. So it was funny, but anyway. So here it is, your pet reptile, and um, and it's about caring for your own personal pet. So you could also avoid having to go to the veterinarian if it's not necessary. So um, we're just gonna go through a little bit, a couple of things. Um, I want to share with you um, some special things. The, one of the most special parts of this book is how it started. Was that we would come, we, when I would do a show, we would do a pet pledge. So I would like y'all to all do the pet pledge with me, and raise your right hand and say, "I promise to always read 21 books about my pets before I get them." Now this pet pledge says five books. I've upped it to 25 because. You know, I think that you could just go on a YouTube, or not a YouTube, but on like a Google search and like look up books and stuff like that and get it. But anyway, so um, so this is an important pledge. This comes with the book. But more importantly, um, it's called Your Pet Reptile because many people, um, even if you have a pet reptile, are relying on information that sometimes is out, sometimes is outdated and information that comes from, you know, from years and years of animals being in their captivity. And there's another side to this that's super important, and that other side is animals that are um, in the wild. So these animals all came from animals in the wild and have acclimated to being in captivity. However, we want our pets to live their best life. Now, if you want your pet to live your best life, just say it. I want my pet to live its best life, and I want to provide it for it. So um, we're going to meet some of our pets in just a little while. We're redoing our reptile room downstairs building. But right now, um, I'm just going to go through a couple things. What is a pet reptile? It's something that, what is a reptile? We're going to go through in the book. You can see right there, what is a reptile? There are five types. You can see, you can name all the types of reptiles here, there. And what type of reptile is your favorite? Um, choose three books about your reptile and, art, and three internet articles. So there's a total of six things you should look up and know where your pet comes from. These are all things that you can utilize to make your pet's life really, really great. And um, I wanna, I'm rambling on, but I just wanna share with you also that after traveling around the world to Costa Rica was my first international trip, that first trip to Costa Rica is when I first learned about this. This is like, it's not secret information, but when I, when I went to Costa Rica, there was this frog called the Smoky Jungle Frog. 
I had two. My first one's name was Smokey, and then the female, I don't remember what we named her. But the thing was, is that we saw them in the wild. We heard them in the wild going, <laughs> making the sounds. And then I found it in a hole in the ground. This frog I had for more than a year, and then the female I had for probably a few months together with the male, and they kept being in an plexus, but nothing ever happened. Finally, when I went to Costa Rica, I found the proper plants and the way the animal was set up in the wild and where they were living, and I replicated it exactly, and within a month, I had 150 eggs, 150 tadpoles, actually, that were laid by that frog. So just, just that's one example. There's plenty of examples. But the reason I share that example is because we want our pets to thrive in captivity, the ones that are still here now. I'm not against people having pets, but however, it's really important that we honor their lives fully because they were brought here, you know, they were brought here years and years ago, you know, through, through, the, through the pet trade, through different things, and at, you know, not by their own will, let's say it like that. And so um, we can make a difference for these pets. Now, um, I'm going to read some excerpts from your pet reptile. I just got to bring it up on the computer and, um, and we're going to see it. And so we're going to read it. Excuse me for not having everything prepared, but there was a, a malfunction on our YouTube channel and we're going to correct that the next time. But you know, what we're, we're going to do, what we're going to do, can't do anything. Got to keep rolling. So here we go. Um, now, 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 now. Oh, before we go into the book reading though, I just want to share with you this. This is actually um, it's for our ball python pet care 101. But these are just a couple of the things that you got to consider before you get your pet, your pet reptile. It's included with the book, but I want to just go over this real quick. So what size enclosure and tank does your pet need? What is the cost? So the accessories, the options of what the size is, where to find them is here and the cost. You gotta know those things before you get your pet. I worked in pet stores, I've worked in animal hospitals, worked all over, and oftentimes, many folks don't have any clue how much it really actually costs to, to take care of your pet. If your pet needs vet care, any of those things, you gotta know, you gotta know it. <laughs> so, um, moving on, um, here, right here, also necessary accessories. So this goes from enclosures and tanks, necessary accessories, these are the different accessories you'll need substrate, branches, bowls, lighting, heat, thermometers. Um, these are the options, where to find them, and the cost, all right? And so just for to set you up with a ball python, just without anything more, you can go from free up to 80 bucks at least for, for, um, for a tank in the thrift store, but that can go up to way higher, like $500. Um, here's 150 to 199 that would be for a custom tank that the snakes can not escape out of and then <laughs> then then um, build your own $50 and up and here's some more information here okay um, and the total it, it, we give you the totals of what you're gonna spend so usually right out the gate you're gonna spend anywhere from three to five hundred bucks before you even get your pet that's not even including the pet if you adopted it, of course, it wouldn't cost you more money, but um, it's something just to consider, okay? Things to consider, all right? But now, off to the book reading. We're going to actually read excerpts from the book, Your Pet Reptile, and just give us one moment, and we're going to get that together for y'all so y'all can read the book. Read the book, read the book, read the book. Where's the book, where's the book, where's the book? All right, Your Pet Reptile. It might be, hold on a second, one moment. Your... Pet reptile. P. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's coming. Up. Oh, here we go. Okay, you guys. So we're gonna start from the beginning. The introduction. Your Pet Reptile Introduction. Hello, my name is Eric Callender, and if you're reading this book, that means that you really must like reptiles a lot, or have a pet reptile. People call me Eric the Reptile Guy, 
Not because I look like a reptile, although some people might think I do, but that's all okay. king. That's all right. <laughs> um, but, um, however, it may be because I love reptiles. It's because I love reptiles, amphibians, and creepy crawly animals, too. Ever since I was nine years old, my room always had pets in it. Pet hamsters, pet parakeets, stingrays, frogs, toads, geckos, tarantulas, boas, pythons, iguanas, turtles, tortoises, and even alligators. They all had names like Flex, Pac-Man, Wonder, Whiskey, Willow, Hip, Hop, Salt, Peppa, Biggie, and Wally, just to name a few. And it was named Biggie before Biggie Smalls, just so you know. Because <laughs> I was like nine years old. Anyway, although, and may Biggie Smalls rest in peace, truly. Um, although I couldn't have an alligator under my bed, I've definitely tried with other animals and 100% did. Snakes under the bed, spiders under the bed, even geckos under the bed. I started with two tarantulas, then two snakes, then four snakes, until one day... My parents found the secret zoo underneath my bed. They said, it's time to move out. You have only one year to pull yourself together. It was time anyway. I was a 25 year old kid. At the time, it seemed a little harsh at first, but there was a lesson in it. Tell the truth. Tell the truth, y'all. <laughs> Since then, my reptiles are no longer in hiding, and I'm able to share them with many people and give them the life they deserve, that they deserve. I am so grateful to have the op an opportunity to share some cool, helpful tips on how to prepare yourself before purchasing or adopting a reptile or amphibian as a pet. This book also contains some real life experiences and lessons I have learned with my pets including the story of my first reptile I received for my 10th birthday. I hope this book will guide you towards getting a pet that's just right for you. However, before you read on, please sign your pet pledge. This is the most important rule. Let's call it the Frogano rule. <laughs> but I mean that, I mean the cardinal rule, the cardinal rule. Promise to always read five books about your pets before you get them. And I mean that sincerely, you all. Please read about your pets before you get them. Parents, before you get a pet for your child, you know, surprising them. Make sure you read the book thoroughly and that you're prepared to care for it if your child doesn't have the energy or interest in taking care of their pet um, or just don't get one. <laughs> but I promise to always read five books about my pets before I get them and hopes that they will live a happy, healthy life. Sign it and date it. And that is it for the first part of a book reading. But we're going to continue. If you guys want to read on, the first chapter is called Keep Asking. Okay? I'll read this first page and then we're going to stop there. And we're going to just, you know, flip through a couple of more pages. And then if you have questions regarding the book, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Okay? So um, keep asking. Before I got my first pet reptile, there were elite... There were at least four years of exploring my backyard, digging for worms and slugs, along with many visits to the zoo. Although all of these memories were awesome, one of my favorite memories was finding my first toad at camp. It was like eating my favorite dessert for breakfast. Brownie Sundays, what? <laughs> Not exactly edible, however, it was an awesome first experience. The toad wasn't exactly edible, the brownie Sundays were delicious. Even if you're not vegetarian, never eat a toad. They are very, very, very poisonous. I remember finding her on my way home, on my way to the bathroom, and being so excited that I almost didn't make it to the bathroom. Finding this odd looking creature with warts all over was such an amazing experience that there was only one thing left to do. Sneak him in my home, in my green duffel bag, and hope my parents didn't ask where my clothes went. There is the toad. And we'll read a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So there's the toad. It looks something like that. It was an American toad. Very similar to that toad. It looked like that. Um, but a slight variation. American toads come in different colors. 
So, Eric, where are your clothes, my mom asked. Um, I gave them away. What do you mean you gave them away? What's moving in that bag? Um, nothing, I said with my head down. At that moment, I knew I was in trouble. So I opened up the bag and mom screamed, what is that? It's a toad. Can I keep him, please? After a lot of begging and explaining, my mom gave in and let me keep the toad. This was the beginning of a long line of asking and begging. <laughs> all right, you all. So there's the first part of our book, Your Pet Reptile. Get the book, read it, do all the activities within it. And I'm just excited to share with you about Your Pet Reptile. If you have any questions, please do call me um, uh, or message us through um, our website, adventureshow.com. And thank you all for watching our first book reading today, tonight, Wednesday, October 23rd. All right? Have a good night. Bye.